back to part four of the Stuart S50 build. In this video we're going to be doing the uh, cylinder covers and as we said we're always trying to make things a bit easier. Uh, we've, uh, I've worked out a way of doing one less machining process, fingers crossed, uh, where we drill the six holes you'll see on the milling machine on the rosary table and uh, we drill them through in one go right through and then we, as we part each of the covers off the holes are already in there. Uh, and also we're doing one where we've got uh, if you're following two canes, he, he, he recommends using an aluminium boss to hold the uh, the covers while machining the face. So what I'm actually going to do is use the cylinder itself. So once it's bolted on there, should be strong enough. Seven bolt holes, uh, sorry, six bolt holes, seven ba, should be should be okay. Uh, we'll give it a try. Uh, and the other thing you might notice is the bar I'm using is actually look a bit smaller in diameter than the one supply which uh, Stuart models. Uh, I've misplaced mine. Um, took it in, I think, to do some measurements about this deeper hole, see if we can get away with it. Uh, don't know what I've done with it, it'll turn up. So on this one it's just a bit smaller diameter but just enough to give us the, I think it's one and uh, one eighth uh, for the outside diameter. But anyway, any questions, pop them down below. Uh, if you don't mind liking and subscribing to the channel, it'd be fantastic. And we'll catch you at the end of the video. So as you can see, we've already took down the outside diameter of the cast iron bar uh, to the dimension of one and one eighth. Now we're just machining the little boss in the middle. Um, which according to the plan is 3 eighths of an inch in diameter. So we'll take that down now. Uh, also, it, um, the distance that it sticks out in the face of this um, cylinder cover, I've actually just done it a little bit longer because what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, hold this in the collet chuck or the three jaw chuck later to machine the inside face off. You'll see that later on. So we'll just, uh, just take that down now to the 3 eighths of an inch diameter. Just taking the final cut there, probably about four out. Now I'm just uh, machining the little, you see on the plan, there's like a little recess in the front of the, the cover. Uh, so we're just machining that now. And uh, that's down to a depth of uh, 132, 32s of an inch. Yeah, that is a cobweb on my hat. Now we've got the little recess machine, now it's uh, we're going to drill and uh, so we can tap the centre of the, this is the front cylinder cover we're doing. This is where the piston rod will come through. Um, we've got a critical measurement here of um, 732s deep and it's going to be tapped to a uh, quarter inch by 32 threads per inch. And then once we've done that, we go through the centre with that of a eighth of an inch to allow for the piston rod to come through. And again, with anything, always use a centre drill and then work your way up through your drill bits. Now 
and this is the eighth of an inch one going through center now this isn't as critical with the depth and um, because like I say we're going to be parting this off so as long as you just sort of go just into where you're going to be parting off that gives you your eighth of an inch right through but don't go too crazy because obviously you've got to take off your, your rear cover next of the next piece of bear so this wants to be probably about um, probably about a sixteenth maybe a little bit over Now the next step is drilling the six holes. So we've got it on the rotary table on the other machine. Again, we're just going to start off with a centre drill. And these need to be done to a 7BA clearance hole, uh, which is 2.6 millimetres. So always start off with your centre drill as, as always. And what we're going to do on these, you'll see in a bit, we're going to drill these, I said deep. Now we've got it, this hasn't been removed from the chuck, this is just to the chuck off the layers. So we know we're still bang on centre and we've centred the rotary table from the machine. What we're going to do is drill these a little bit deeper so we can actually part it off and then we've already got the holes in ready for the rear cover. So I think I drilled these down maybe something like about 15mm, maybe 20mm deep so we've got plenty of clearance for the, for the next cover. And this is, I said, this is what we're saving on the one process. We're doing one lot of drilling in this and it gives us both the cylinder covers. This is it now, I think I say it's about I think it's about 20 mil we went. Obviously just worry what you've you've got. And as long as you if you do your measurements and you clear three holes allowing for your machining and you're parting off of say two millimetre allowing for that as well. So yeah we're just unbolting the un unlocking the, the rosary table and this two three to six degrees and my table uh, one turn of the handle is uh, four degrees so that to me that's fifteen turn of the handle. So we'll turn that 15 now um, to give us a 6 degrees for the first hole and then we can repeat that for the other, the other 5 holes. So that's a 6 degrees, lock it up. Change the centre drill your next hole and so on and so on. So there you go, that's six holes drilled. Simple process just to repeat. And now we're parting off. So this gives us the thickness of the cover. Which I've put up and I'll give it so I think it's just over an eighth. I think it's an eighth in here in total and I'll give it just over an eighth. Don't forget to wipe your little boss on the inside, which goes into the centre of your cylinder. Just spread this up a little bit. You part straight through your six holes as well. You get a little bit of clunk clunk clunkiness, but you take it slow and you can just put nicely part through those. Another little tip as well, if you haven't already got one, I know it's a bit of expense, but get a rear tool post, it makes life a lot easier. Anybody who's uh, ever used Real tool boss will tell you. So here she comes, you can tell with the sound difference, just about to come off, just about to part off. And there it goes, you can see the, the six holes. And more importantly, the eighth of an inch hole in the middle. So we've got the depth just right. So you put that to one side for now, we'll come back to that piece later. Next thing we're doing is we're clearing up and turn it down. This is for the rear cover now. Again, just turn through the holes, just take your time with those. You can hear it, even though it's sped up, you can hear it just, just chattering a bit. <coughs> Excuse me, you can just see those then as we sold down. So yeah, this is your, your rear cover. And this one's we took down to a quarter inch diameter in the middle. It's the same process. Take it down. This one doesn't have any holes through the centre of it, so it's a little bit easier. But we still do the little recess as the plan shows. And like I said, I think this is quite, yeah, quite a change on this one.
And there we go, that's that down to quarter inch, and now we're going to fart it off, like we did with the, the front one. I'll say with these rear tool posts, you know, just gone through over an inch piece of cast by there, basically no chatter or anything. A wonderful bit of kit. There you go. Say so look recessing and your six holes. Perfect. And they were all done in one, one machine, them six holes, one machine in process. So this is just there, uh, we've put it now in the collet to reverse it around using the boss that we machined in the middle. We're just going to put the little little boss on the inside of it that goes inside the cylinder. So this is not using any of the um, the holders, the boss, um, that tool came recommend, the aluminium holder. And um, this is just actually using the little boss that we machined on the front. Just all in the collet chuck. So that's just facing off. We'll just do the little box on the inside. Yeah, that's, down to, that's down to 5 8, so just slightly under 5 8 is what the cylinder is going to be. There you go, see, perfectly machined up. That's them finished. Obviously, the front one's on the left with the thread with the hole through, but the piston rod will come through where the packing gland will go and then that's the real one on the right and there you have them the front and rear covers uh, and the centre boss there look a bit longer but let's say we use those to clamp in the, the collet chuck so what we'll do just to machine those off is once the cylinder's done we'll bolt them onto the cylinder and um, with the little 7 ba bolts that come with the with the kit and we'll just machine those down to size and um, so yeah so it just re it's uh, say one lot of machining process in doing the six holes right through and also it's safe making the, the little holders uh, that the, the tool cane series recommends the aluminium holders we're going to use the actual cylinder just to machine all we've got to do is just machine and look the bosses off take very light cuts so we're not putting no stress whatsoever on the 7 ba bolts so as they say that's job done so until next time youtubers thanks for watching it'll be right